Nagalala ga sabse poila potato festival tent made a jakama local ground koima palo bolase press conference ekta de organizers kam pa khushi ki sete potato produce kuria khan alaka se itne mide exposure dibule irada se to event pa itu pa farmers ka laga economy bal krobo market banai gina aur soka laga departments aur ngos kan logo de be partner kri gina schemes aur faida kan utha bole rasta khola bo khushi I am Dr. Teputo, event director for the first ever Nagaland Potato Festival, which will be held on the 10th of May 2024 at the Jakama local ground, Jakama village, Kohima. Organizing a state level potato festival had been a long time dream for me personally. And when my friend, Mr. Noto, <coughs> He came up with the idea of organizing a potato festival. I was really excited. So we went and approached some of our like-minded friends who are equally enthusiastic for such this organic product and organic uh, farming. But we came up with this Nagaland Potato Festival. And so our main aim is to uh, promote this organic farming and helping the farmers. Nagaland state has 17 recognized tribes and all tribes celebrate their distinct festivals, you know, which are unique in their own way and almost all of them they have to do with agriculture we celebrate the farmers we celebrate their yield we celebrate the harvest we celebrate the hard work the Nagaland potato festival is a platform for our farmers and it is the need of the hour the potatoes produced here are unique and considered to be a delicacy plus it is costlier than the general market potatoes the market demand does not meet the supply. During the harvest season, customers come uh, from their own trucks and pickups to the field itself. And once it is harvested, they buy everything and go. And most of them are for their own self-consumption. And hardly any of the potato, they reach the general market. Most of our rural farmers are still following the traditional tools, ways, and knowledge for the farming. So it is high time that we introduce the modern technologies and the modern knowledge to our farmers uh, which will benefit in higher yield and also ease the labor costs, improve the quality and of course preservation of the soil fertility. The Potato Festival, Nagaland Potato Festival aims to give the local potatoes of Nagaland a window of advertisement and exposure. The visitors will get a unique experience of the local organic potatoes from various corners of the state which are rare and unique to its own region. The festival will also encourage various other organic products. The festival will boost the economy of the farmers and villagers by creating a market with the flow of visitors who can be bought local as well as tourists. The festival will also create partnership with the concerned government department, NGOs, through which important schemes and benefits for the farmers can be shared. I also like to highlight the challenges that our potato farmers are facing today. Um, we found that a uh, lack of modern technology and machineries, a uh, lack of scientific method of cultivation, lack of proper infrastructure of farming, like proper irrigation canal and power tiller footpath, a lack of technical knowledge of high productivity, pest management and seed protection. High price of pot seed potato and price uncertainty among the cultivators and also lack of storage facilities. And um, potato festival has been in much discussion over the past years. And today I'm very grateful for uh, being able to uh, engage with our like-minded brothers and uh, who came up with the same idea of organizing a potato festival, the first ever potato festival in Nagaland. And today I'm glad that the dream of potato festival is happening in my own village. So I am Mr. Vikukoto Rolnu and I am the event manager for the, this potato festival. So I here I would like to supplement some of the various activities that we, we, we will be undertaking during the festival. Uh, some of the highlights of the festivals are as follows. There will be, you know, prize for the best and the most you know, innovative stalls. And also there will be uh, some uh, prizes for 
the biggest potato, which will be ju judged by some of the experts in the field of agriculture. So the prices will be uh, power tillers, uh, grass cutter, and other uh, modern agricultural uh, machineries, which will be solely uh, sponsored by the farm craft. Uh, as part of the festival, we are expecting around 100 stalls and also a footfall of around 5,000 uh, footfalls from across the state, which would be comprising of uh, the, the young, old, the farmers, SSGs from various uh, districts and villages, uh, representative from farmers from various uh, corners of the state, uh, officials and guests from across the state. Uh, you know, much of uh, much of the far, uh, stalls on the that, that very day for the festival will be focused on the potato. However, we will also be that there will be various uh, food stalls, a number of food stalls, and also there will be various stalls which will be selling other local uh, products and other vegetables, which will be purely uh, organic. And also there will be some agencies and other banks like Nabar, and also there will be advertisement of other agric agricultural. Uh, machineries and products. Uh, there will be also live demonstration on how uh, a potato plantation is done, which will be undertaken by Green Caravan. We are also uh, the organizers are also inviting some of the reputed scholars, PhD scholars, and researchers from outside Nagaland, which we will, they will become uh, part of the festival for their technical support. And as a festival, we know music plays a very important part of our life. So in the evening session, as a festival, as a full-fledged festival, there will be uh, live concerts with, where some well-known artists will be coming and performing their uh, songs, their original tracks. Uh, we all are very, very much aware with the, uh, the most, some of, one of the most commonly played songs, Zoe, which is uh, commonly played by Manda uh, youngsters. So uh, the original artist, Mr. Lee, Lizuku Lohe, he will be also coming and performing doing the artist uh, and controlling the audience. We also have a number of lineup artists like the Weekend of Kohima, Weekend in Kohima, sorry, comprising of three young talented artists. We also have Miss Senti Wing Jamir, all the way from St. Joseph College Takama. She is also a very, very young, a promising artist who will be coming and controlling the audience. So, Apart from this, we also, we, in order to promote the, the indigenous traditional games, we will be also conducting various uh, traditional indigenous games, such as Pieda competition, Ketipa competition, Tulova competition. So there will be three com indigenous traditional competitions. The first two will be primarily for the men, and the last, the day is Tulova will be, competition will be for the women. And also there will be a cash money for all the indigenous uh, uh, games and competition and also a minimum of rupees rupees 100 will be uh, taken for the as part of the registration of stalls and those who are going to be part of the competition uh, a, a sum of rupees 10,000 and 5,000 respectively for will be given for the first and the, the first position and the first runner up for the Keda competition whereas 5,000 and 3,000 will be for Keda uh, competition and for Tulopa competition we are still yet to decide still, still on the, in the process yeah. So these are some of the highlights of the, of the various activities that will be part of the festival. Yeah, and also <coughs> the Nagaland Potato Festival, we are still inviting all the farmers across Nagaland from any district, any tribe. You can come and register. Registration is still open. You can come and open up your stall. If your field does not have good potato yield also, it's okay. You can come and sell your other organic products.